Hello again. Um, all right, you're going to have to forgive me. I just woke up, got the kid off to school. Uh, I'm still a shambles. Oh, I'm still laughing about something that happened yesterday. And I started laughing again this morning because my wife brought it. So when I woke up to take care of, of the kid, she kind of brought it back up again and, and was like, don't, 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 don't. I was like, but it was so funny. <laughs> So I just want to share. It. Okay, I'm going to start off with my little caveat. I'm not here to defend Trump or anybody in in Washington D.C. I I've told you before. You know, everybody up there has some type of of nefarious thing that they've done that's bad. Somebody can look at any single politician up there. You can't get to be in the highest ranks of the co of Congress and, and the presidency. You can't get to be the richest men in, in, in America. You can't get to those things without doing some kind of morally questionable type thing. You can't. Okay? It's one of the reasons why I basically retired at 32. I make more money than I spend, so what's the point of making a ton more money? I'm happy. I, I get to spend my whole day with my kids and my family. I'm happy. I have a great life. Cannot tell you how amazing. I love my life because I'm not seeking those things. But some people do. And they want to go on and do those things, and they do. But the cost of that is that they're going to end up doing some nefarious stuff to get to the top. That's that's just the way it is. Um, and it, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be an illegal thing. It could just be morally questionable that somebody is going to hate. So whoever's up there, I hate being like the person who goes, oh, I'm going to defend Trump. I do prefer him, okay, in a lot of respects because, well, he's done a lot of really good things for veterans and black people and this. And, and if you read my history on on my family or, or watch the video on it, we fight slavery and Democrat racism and all those good. That's what my family's done generation after generation for seven generations, So. Yeah, I have a tendency to like the guy. Um, so, so this is where it started. All right, so that set aside. I hate being the defender, but this is how it started. I made a comment, okay? And, and basically, I drew up an image, and I just took a little table in Word and put it together real quick. And Because it seems so obvious. The tricks and, and schemes of the Democrats seems so obvious to me because, you know, I've got this history of fighting. All their marketing schemes are all so obvious. So I tweeted, oh, horrible, horrible mistake. You get on Twitter, <laughs> tweeted. Um, I, there was a reset issue on Twitter. So I was like, you know, the bots seem to have disappeared. So I'm just going to take this opportunity to tell the Democrats, that no matter how many times you try to reinvent the KKK and name them something like Antifa, it's pretty obvious. And that was the tweet. And the picture was a picture of KKK at the top and a picture of Antifa at the bottom. And then it said Democrat remarket a marketing model and or, or rebanding scheme or, or something like that. And I just put under it, I said, okay, well, you have Antifa and you have KKK. And I said, okay. So they changed the name. And I also give another one. I said, you know, these people all run anonymous by hiding their face with white hoods. These people all run anonymous by wearing black masks. Okay. That's, that's the rebranding. Okay. Gotcha. Um, the KKK was started as a terrorist organization to uh, combat black and white uh, Republican leaders. Okay. And Tifa is a terrorist organization that goes after black and white Republican leaders. That's pretty clear. Okay. Um, there was a couple, there was something else in there that I did. And then, um, I, I used the example of a birth of a nation. I said, okay, the KKK uses propaganda to, to do, uh, to smear, uh, the Republicans and <coughs> birth of a nation. If you don't know what it was, was basically a play that the KKK made. Uh, it, it was a film uh, and, and stuff. And 
it basically presented the KKK as noble white men who were fighting against these horrible black people who were raping white women and killing everybody. And it was the absolute opposite of what happened in the Civil War. And it was a movie made after the Civil War to kind of, you know, demonize the black guy. Oh, the black guy was raping the white women and the black guy was killing every. No, they weren't. It was the opposite. And so I gave that as the example of them, you, you know, using uh, propaganda to spread lies. And then I went over here and I go, okay. Oh, one of the other things I said is uh, the Democrats supported, you know, it was born out of the, the Democrats. The KKK was born out of the Democrats. Antifa, born out of the Democrats, using Democrat propaganda, the Steele dossier, a whole bunch of lies bought and paid for by Hillary to smear Trump. And I use that as an example. Okay, so Trump got a little bit brought into the subject because of that. Um, and because of that, I said, okay, I'm going to put a comment. I put a comment under my own tweet. And I said, um, black American benefits under Trump. All right. So I listed seven different benefits, everything from uh the, the big ones everybody knows is lower unemployment and uh, higher uh, job rate and things like that. But a lot of people don't know is that um, he also increased things like the average mean income of, of the average income of a black family went up by four grand. Um, he increased black home ownership, getting him, you know, actually owning homes. That's awesome. He increased that by like almost 50%, okay? I gave, I, I put down like seven examples of good things that Trump did for black people. <laughs> so this is where the funny part comes in. This is where the NPCs start attacking. <laughs> um, this guy comes in and he posts, you know, well, under Biden, two of these things are doing better. You know, and, and it's like, okay, I look at that number and the previous number, and I'm like, okay, it's not even up a full point. It's not even up 1% on two things, okay? But it did go up. It did go up. And I'm like, oh, okay. So two things continued their upward trajectory. I responded to the guy, two things continued to do good and nothing on the other five. So first of all, you're not contesting the fact that Trump did seven good things. You're just saying, at best, you're saying, well, Biden did two things that are good for black people. He didn't do seven. <laughs> but you're, you're saying he, he did them. Even if you're not admitting that it was part of the upward trajectory, you're at least saying, you know, at best, oh, well, t Biden improved two things. Okay, well, Trump did seven, and that was, and I had put down at the bottom, et cetera, et cetera, because there's like a bazillion more examples. And... <laughs> I'm like, and you don't mention the other five. So all you're doing is proving my point. Trump increased seven. Biden, resting on his laurels, two of them still kept going. Basically, what you've shown me is that Trump is a better good guy than Biden's ability to be a bad guy because Biden, being part of the Democrats and hating blacks, which is part of their nature, um, was only able to stop five of the good things that, that Trump did. So Trump did seven things and Biden only killed five of them. <laughs> and two of them kept going on their trajectory. Okay. Way to go, dude. You, 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 oh, you really did a great job <laughs> of proving my point for me. <laughs> and I'm laughing about this. And and the guy comes back and he's still trying to argue with me and he's got this fight me fight me fight me this oh I'm sure you've seen it it's these it's an inferiority complex with a keyboard okay I have to beat this guy I have to own him this is a video game of Twitter and I have to outdo the guy and I'm gonna pwn him and I I was I, he's like talk to me about this talk he's literally it, it looks like he's screaming at me through the thing. He's like, talk to me about this. And I'm like, you're demanding I talk to you. Okay, wow, you just really need attention, don't you? Okay. I said, okay. 
maybe you're not an NPC. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you, basically, is, is, is the thing. I was like, okay. Prove to me you're not an NPC and an idiot. And the guy responds. <laughs> he, responds he responds with, well, you don't want to talk about this? Talk to me about this. No. <laughs> so, okay. Prove to me you're not an NPC and an idiot and just completely stupid. And I don't use the word idiot on on Twitter because Twitter doesn't like the word idiot. If you use idiot in a tweet, it, it comes back and says, are you sure you want to say that? But, so I didn't say that, but that's what I'm thinking. And the guy, the guy is responding with, I'm a super retard. You better talk to me now. So I've been laughing my ass off about this. All day, I was doing good, and then, you know, had the good time. But then I wake up this morning, the wife reminds me of it, and there it is. I don't like having to defend somebody, and, and you know, in, in Washington at all. But, you know, I'm sorry. He did a lot of really good things, and it was a lot of really good things. And now, under Biden, he's doing really horrible things to destroy everything. I mean... He's pretty good at being a bad guy. I mean, that's 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 pretty clear. Um, it's pretty obvious. Um, I'm just hoping that 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 other people see this, you know, and and understand that they play with these numbers and they they market them all. Oh, under Biden we had this and this, and I'm like, okay, so he only screwed up part of what Trump did that was so amazing. Um, and you're, okay, so comparatively, even, even, like I said, even if you're saying that you did these two good things for black people, what about all the other things? You made those worse and Trump made them all better. So you don't make more better than him. You make more worse. <laughs> and it's just, it's, it's silly. You know, you want to argue over whether it was 3.5% increase or 3.2 or it was only a 2.9. They want to fuddle with those numbers and it's like, okay, but you admit that he made it better. Can you say, tell if you want to prove that somebody is not some brainwashed idiot, I don't care, goes both ways, okay, again. Do this to somebody you think is a Republican NPC and do this to somebody you think is a Democrat NPC. Do the same thing. It, it's basically, the question I put forward was, list one thing good that Trump did. Now, I gave him seven examples. I gave him seven. He couldn't do it. He had to scream, you know, basically fight me. He couldn't. The information's right in front of you. I gave you seven examples. If you ask me, what has, what did Obama do that was so amazing? Okay. Um, actually, Obama signed a, a treaty with um, Russia to reduce the nuclear warheads, which, given what's going on right now, the, 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 that's a pretty good thing. <laughs> I mean, given what's going on now, that's even better than what, what I thought back then. It's now really a good thing. That That's a good thing, people. You know, and if you can't sit there and look at everything that the president did and go, oh, no, nothing they've done is good. Nothing. Really? Really? If you can't, then you're just part of the brainwashed mob that follows around and worships your candidate. You know, if you can't sit there and say, OK, this person did these good things, if those two things, if I look at Biden and I give him all the benefit of the doubt, I say, okay, Biden did those two things and he improved those two things. Trump did those two as well, but he also did another five. Okay, it's it's that simple of a measurement to me to look at. I don't have to go into those other, you know, whether it was 4.5% or 3.2%. You, you admit he did a good job on that. Okay, whether you're you're not wanting to admit that or not, but by arguing the number, you're actually admitting that it still went up. So it's it's just it's just funny when you watch these idiots in there. And I hope I hope people start taking just a basic look at things and stop getting so 
drawn into the fight me, fight me guys. Just look at the two people and say, what did they do here? I think it's pretty obvious when it comes to racism and, and slavery and all the rest of that. It's the Democrats haven't changed. They're still part of the KKK. And yeah, I ran into a huge group of brainwashed KKK. I mean, they were literally using KKK propaganda to try to say Trump was bad. I mean, they pulled out, I think it was, what's that damn paper called? The KKK's newspaper. I'll think of it. Um, but the KKK has this newspaper and, and they had quoted Trump and they were trying to use that, the KKK's propaganda that says Trump is an evil rapist <laughs> to say Trump's an evil racist. I'm like, okay, and you want to not say you're part of the KKK? <laughs> and you want to say that the KKK is so far behind us when you're using the old these people are ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. You know, it's it's really sad that, that so many people fall for that and they get distracted by all those little things. Anyway, I'm going to continue laughing and, and, and I hope you do too. See you later.